All right, my dear children of class 12 science, uh, we go to the next, almost the last theoretical topic from this chapter, photoelectric effect. And after this topic, uh, we even solve some new, more important numericals. Okay, so it's a short chapter. Okay, and the topic that we are going to do is energy and momentum of photon. See, as per Max Planck quantum hypothesis, okay, light consists of particles called photons. So, photons are the light particles. So, children, remember this. Photons are the what particle? Light particles. Light particles. If this particle has a mass, then it has a momentum because photons are such a particle which are always moving with a certain speed. Means photon can never remain at rest. Remember this. Photon are the light particle which can never remain at what rest. And every particle, how small that particle is, has a mass. So if a photon like a light particle has a mass and it travels always okay with the speed of light then it has a momentum also it has a what momentum because momentum is the mass in motion and if the body has momentum then that body has energy also and basically the energy that we are talking about is the what energy kinetic energy of the photon so out here now we measure the mass the momentum of photon and even we measure the energy that is the kinetic energy of photon but as I said already, photons are the what particle? Light particles. And these photons, as a light particle, they travels, travels with the with the what? Speed. The speed of light. Because photon means light particle only means they travel with the speed, and that is speed of light, which is marked letter C. And you know what is the speed of light in air or vacuum? 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. And this is the maximum speed in which the light or the photon particles or the light particles can travel okay now every photon has a mass so i don't let m be the mass of the photon but children this mass of photon is not a rest mass this is the kinetic mass this is the kinetic or uh, we also use the word dynamic mass because the word dynamics also related to motion that's why the kinetic and dynamic is related to motion or uh, this is the moving mass let M be the kinetic or dynamic mass of a photon. Okay. Now, from here I can say that photon are the particles which are always in a motion. Okay. That means the rest mass of the photon is always zero. So, look at this part. The rest mass of photon is always what? Zero. So, photon has no rest mass. Because photon can never remain at rest. Okay. Now, in order to write the relation of energy and momentum of photon, Albert Einstein has, has, he has already uh, proposed, uh, made the explain what photoelectric effect by using quantum theory of light. He even expressed a relation between energy and mass. And this is a very famous equation, children, we have learned already. And this equation is given by E equals to mc square. E equals to mc square. That means energy of a particle having mass is given by E equals to mc square. Now, energy particle like photon also has mass and they are traveling with a certain energy, with a certain speed. And the speed of photon is what? C. The speed of photon is what? C. And this photon which has mass and travel with a speed C has energy also and the energy is given by E equals to mc square. So, this is a famous Albert Einstein's equation. Einstein's equation. Einstein's energy mass equivalence. This is actually called Einstein's. Let me just write the relation. Energy mass equivalence. Now the details of this uh, relation you learn in one of the chapter in the next unit. Okay. So at that time you learn energy mass equivalence is one of the chapter you learn. But just remember this. As for Einstein's energy of photon is also expressed by E equals to mc square. Okay. But children energy of each photon is also given by what? H nu. This is according to Planck's Planck hypothesis, where free nu is the frequency of what? Photon, the frequency of light. That means these two energies are equal to each other. So just let me write out this way. Mc square now equals to H nu. This energy means Mc square according to Einstein's equation. So that Mc square equals to H nu. So it's Mc square equals H nu, then M equals to H nu by C square. So look at the relation, children. This is the relation that can even measure the mass of the photon. So, if you ask to measure the kinetic mass of the photon, 
then it can be measured by m equals to h nu by c square or i can also write this as e by c square also because h nu equals to c e so m can also be written as e by what c square so the kinetic mass of the photon can be measured by this formula but we now measure the momentum of photon yes photon has a momentum also so momentum means mass into velocity okay so i write down now the momentum of photon the momentum of photon and the momentum of photon is marked by letter p and momentum is mass into the velocity that is is equal to the speed of light or the velocity of light in air or vacuum so p equals to m into c so let me just substitute the value p equals to m as for the relation m equals s nu by c square let me substitute this one only s nu by c square into c already there is c and this c and one c square cancel out so it will be p equals to s nu by c so look at the relation now momentum of photon equals to s nu by what c so if photon has mass which is a kinetic mass then that moving mass of the photon is expressed by the momentum and this momentum is given by h nu by c so this is the momentum of photon but this momentum which we have expressed in terms of what uh, frequency max uh, planck's quantum uh, planck's constant and the speed of photon but you then momentum this momentum can be expressed in terms of what in terms of what uh, the wavelength of photon see light has wavelength also means photon are the particle which are traveling with the speed of light okay that is the radiation and it has moment wavelength also okay it has what wavelength also so there is a relation out here and the relation is okay speed is frequency equals to speed by wavelength look at the relation children frequency nu equals to speed by wavelength so i replace now this nu equals c by lambda in the expression so that we can measure momentum in terms of wavelength also so i'll substitute the value of nu see momentum means what as nu by c okay so let me now replace uh, h by c i write like this on this now nu equals to c by lambda c so this nu equals to c by lambda so this c and c cancel out so momentum equals to h by lambda also so look at the expression of momentum of photon so the momentum of photon p equals to h by lambda so this is the relation that measures the momentum of photon so moment of photon can be expressed by look at the by the relation c h nu by c even uh, h by lambda and even h nu means energy by c also so these are the relation which we use for solving numerical problem also we solve some numerical problem based on this relation so photon has a momentum and moment of photon given by this 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 relation and photon has energy also and you know energy i have already written as e equals h nu one expression and e is also equals to what mc square so this bracket sign which i have given okay a box sign which i have mentioned out here that's our the expression of energy and the momentum of photon okay now we utilize this numeric uh, sorry uh, relation to solve numerical also now children we are coming back to the numerical problem okay some important numerical we need to solve from photoelectric equation and even the energy and momentum of photon now children we solve some important numerical as i said already and let's start with problem number 1 as is a simple problem based on photon okay the question say that calculate the momentum of photon yes means we have a formula out here we use any one of the formula to calculate the momentum of photon means momentum we need to calculate question mark of green light but which particular light uh, we are measuring the momentum green light and that light has a wavelength lambda which is 500 nanometer so this is in nanometer but children i convert nanometer into meter so what i do i multiply by 10 to minus 9 meter because 1 nanometer means 10 to minus 9 meter so look at it 500 means 5 into 10 to power 2 means that 2 zero means 10 to power 2 So two minus nine means minus seven. So minus seven. So lambda equals to five into ten minus seven meters. So this value can even written this way also. This is the wavelength. But we calculate this momentum in SI unit. SI unit means kg meter per second. 
So to calculate this momentum when the wavelength is known, so I use one of the relation that you can see in the expression, P equals to H by lambda. So children, in this question, your value of H is not mentioned. The value of H is not mentioned, but you know the value of H means the Planck's constant, and the value of Planck's constant is always taken as, as for the value which is given, it will be 6.63 into 10 to minus 34 joule second. Children, and when you do examination, this will is same to examination will be a subjective examination. At the time, the value of this constant, the Planck's constant will be given also. So whatever value will be given, we put that value only. Sometimes the value will be given 6.6 .6 also. It will minus 24 joule second. So we put that value only. But usually, we take the value of H in two decimal place, which is 6.63 .6 into minus 34 joule second. So let me substitute this value and this value in the expression of momentum and momentum equals to h by lambda p equals to h by lambda so h means 6.63 into 10 minus 34 whole divided by lambda means how much 5 into 10 to minus uh, 7 now children in this case we can divide now, now 6.63 we can divide by 5 if you divide 6.63 by 5 uh, with the help of calculator you can get cal approximately 1.33 you can check with the hello calculator 6.63 if you divide by 5 we get approximately in two decimal place 1.33 into 10 power there is minus 34 the minus 7 if i take in the numerator plus 7 so minus 34 so children look at it this minus 34 plus 7 means how much minus 27 so finally the answer will be 1.33 into 10 power minus 27 and the unit is kg meter per second so children remember this what is the unit of momentum kg meter per second so what is the momentum of photon of green light 1.33 into minus 7 27 kg meter per second so this is one of the simple problem that we solve based on calculating the momentum of photon so we have other problems to solve and that will learn in the next youtube video